This is an overview of Physics 123 taught online. And first go to Blackboard and sign up, log in. I'm just going to move this a little bit down for myself here so because it's my personal login information. And then here's the class. Of course to you it will be available. There's the 123 physics lecture. So as I said to you, it will be um, available. This is just before the semester begins. There will be a few things in here that I'm going to show you that are going to be just slightly off, but that's because I don't have the shell completed yet, and I'm recording. Um, yeah, during that time. Um, notice also that there's a second shell here that says um, labs physics 123 labs. We will get there. So let's start out here first. So here we go. This is how it looks like. And okay, you don't have, actually have the control panel. That's only mine. Again, you know, a few things are off for yourself. So that, that's how it looks like. And there we go. First of all, I'm going to click on Physics 123 on the top here. That simply it refreshes the announcements. And then these are the first announcements. Go to the discussion board, introduce yourself, and then most important information is posted and start here and then proctor side of, of student exams these are the first three um, I always post I'll get back to the proctor side later on but let's say let's go to this one here first most important information is posted and start here so I'm gonna click on start here and of course the syllabus is one of the important ones so I'm gonna open that and when we look at that here I'm not going to go through the entire one. You actually will be required to go through the entire one. I'm just going to point out a couple of things. Let's see that I find them here relatively quickly. The evaluation tools. Um, is this online course right for me? You get 20 points for that. I'll get to that in, in really just half a minute or so. Homework, quizzes, practice tests, proctored exams, prelapse. And let's keep that in mind. That's what you have to do. Practice tests, proctored exams, prelapse, labs, post labs and proctored final exam. So let's keep that in mind. And then the other thing I wanted to point out here at this point are textbook and accessories. And this is where you go. You go to MBS Direct. And so you click on it and then you order Cutnell and Johnson. And then from the same one you're also going to get um, Bloomfield's How Everything Works, but that's only for extra credit. Um, so I'm not going to get into detail. And then it gives you a lot of other stuff which you will cover gonna move this out of the way and the second important document here is is this online physics course right for me and I come up with this and it asks you a bunch of questions are you required to hand this in for me so that I that way I make sure that you have read through the syllabus and looked at the site so the first questions cover the syllabus at some point, so you have to read carefully through the syllabus. Um, at some point, you have to give me your mailing address. This is important if you're taking the labs because I need to um, send you the lab package, so I need your mailing address. And are you working on off schedules? That's um, kind of important to me because if you do, you have to. Um, accommodate for that and take for example assignments early finish them early that's also why you usually get the f my very first email three to four weeks ahead of schedule if you're uh, ahead of start of the class if you already sign up for the class okay then yeah you go through this entire list this is pretty much I think this is all on the syllabus and then technical proficiency this is about the website itself so there should be blackboard coming up here as well there we go so you go through blackboard I'm gonna go through that one in a moment and yeah and then it has some extra questions on there as well that you go to a website um, one thing I wanna point out here is there's an etiquette at the end of the syllabus being um, being posted so that's where you have to access and say okay how do I address the instructor in an email how do I sign off in an email what are some do's and don'ts when crafting an email and so on but you'll find it all on the syllabus okay so this was an overview of this document so you have to get that to me before um, you can really start the course because what will happen is on lectures 
you won't be able to see units 1 and units 2 and on exams you won't be able to see units 1 and unit 2 until you actually hand it that into me that course write document so that way I make sure that you're familiar with the course and with the responsibilities and you can start the course okay let me go to lectures and here's a number of student tasks and I'll let you read through that um, yourself as you access the blackboard shell and then here are the units and um, don't pay attention to this under construction by the time you take the course that's either off or uh, further down as I said I'm still working on this class I'm just gonna access unit 3 energy momentum because that's one that won't be initially hidden to you and as I said you get units 1 and 2 anyway once you have in it and handed in that course write document to me okay here's what you have to read in that physics book Cotton Johnson essentials of physics you find that on the syllabus I briefed over that earlier um, went over it very briefly there's a quiz here there are um, computer problems that I have posted on YouTube there are mechanical universe um, lectures that are posted and then there's an extra credit opportunity and then there is a miscellaneous um, postings that I have in here let me go over these one by one let's say here I'm gonna click on quiz and so here's here's the quiz and notice that it says here on the quiz it's not proctored no password no time limit you, you may access this quiz several times before the deadline that means you can um, access it yeah several times without losing anything just hit save all the time and at the very end at the you know when you're really ready to submit it that's when you hit the submit button but um, you can stop and start at any time you want before you finally hit the submit button okay so on the quiz you get a number of questions this is just an initial question here um, and then these refer to some of the homework problems and here you have to match um, the result with a unit that's usually the way I have this particular problem set up and these usually go with the recorded problems um, that I will show you in just a moment not always but but usually they do then here this one refers to some of the physics problems and you can see that I um, pointed them out Cutnell chapter 6 look at problem 42 and then you have to match up these statements with these statements on the right hand side and then these refer to mechanical universe so these are videos that you have to watch online and I get to them in just a moment okay and then there's a follow-up question which was extra credit by the way um, these are the ones that I posted on YouTube the computer problem so I'm gonna click on it and there's in each of these there's quite a number of postings the first ones um, are referring to the lab then the next ones are referring to a different physics book do not pay attention to Hewitt Paul Hewitt's physics book is a different one I'm just using the same playgroup in on YouTube for both classes and these are the ones that you do need Cutnell and you can see chapter 6 problems and then Cutnell chapter 6 problems and so on Cutnell chapter 7 problems are um, down here as I said I'm in the process here so these will be posted very soon and then these ones as you watch them usually will whoops let's see there's the first one will answer these quiz problems that I had shown you earlier okay then these here are videos that are posted online and these are not my lectures but somebody else's lectures and you have to watch these and then again there's something on the quiz that there's something on the quiz that make sure that you watch these lectures and there are usually two of them and then there's extra credit opportunity from Lewis Bloomfields that actually will show up on the practice test I'll show that in a moment